Good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It is 4.50 a.m. and I'm on my way as usual to boot camp. It's 80 degrees and it's not even 5 a.m. I have been getting so disgustingly sweaty at boot camp. I don't know if it's the mix of humidity here, which it's never humid here, but it is monsoon season. And when it is monsoon season in Arizona, it can be a little bit more humid. Or if it's just that it's so warm outside and I'm exercising or a mix of both, but I have been just awful sweaty where I have to shower the minute that I get home from boot camp. So I'm guessing today is going to be no different, but I'm excited to go, excited to get back to a full week of working out. Of course, I brought a water with me. I did have my protein coffee. Well, part of it. I made my protein coffee this morning. I had about a quarter of it before I left for boot camp. I just need that little bit of pick me up, that little bit of caffeine in the morning. And then I will finish my protein coffee when I get home from boot camp, when I get ready for the day. We have a busy day today. We are almost out of dog treats. So I'm probably going to go out today looking for dog treats. We are also almost out of candles and Bath and Body Works doesn't have candles on sale right now. So I'm thinking I may check out, you know, TJ Maxx Ross for candles, maybe even Walmart. I was pretty impressed with the Walmart mainstays candles for three, four, five dollars. They worked really well, had a really good scent throw. So we'll probably go out today, do a little bit of shopping, run a couple of errands. I have some really good meals planned for today. I have a really good dinner recipe for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for another what I eat in a day. Get ready for the day and I'll see you at breakfast. So it's time for breakfast. I am super, super hungry. I just finished up the last of my protein coffee. I'm thinking today I want a breakfast sandwich and some fruit. It sounds really good. I'm gonna try a new burger that I picked up at Sam's Club for lunch. So I'm excited to test that out with you guys. But for breakfast, we're sticking with kind of an OG. I'm going to use one of the Thomas Cinnamon Protein English Muffins. These have a very light cinnamon taste, so they definitely still work for breakfast sandwiches, but they have eight grams of protein. So it's just a swap from a regular English muffin to one of these to get in the extra eight grams of protein. I'm going to cook one egg. I like my eggs over hard on my breakfast sandwiches so that the yolk isn't melty. I'm going to add a slice of the reduced fat pepper jack cheese, and then I am going to throw a couple slices of this fully cooked bacon in the microwave, get it nice and crispy again, put all that together on a breakfast sandwich with some fresh raspberries. So here's my breakfast, this looks so good. So there's my breakfast sandwich with one egg, one slice of reduced fat pepper jack cheese. By the way, that cheese tastes exactly like regular cheese, half the fat really, really good. And then two slices of the bacon. And then I have 50 grams of fresh raspberries. Cheers. So I'm about to head out the door to run our errands. Again, we're on the hunt for dog treats because we're almost out. Candles and then really any other good stuff that I can find. I think I'm going to hit up TJ Maxx or Ross first. And then if I don't find what I'm looking for, I'll go to Walmart, especially for candles at Walmart. If I don't find good things at Ross and TJ Maxx, we'll default to the mainstays candles because like I said, they're actually really, really good. Before I walk out the door, I wanted to first share with you my top. So my top is from Timu. It is actually coming in the haul this Sunday. So I have a really fun Timu haul coming for you guys on Sunday. That's where this cute little tank top is. I love the kind of strappy design. It's a kind of eyelet style top in like a sage green color. Did take a shower, wash my hair when I got home from boot camp because I was a sweaty mess. And I wanted to share with you guys the new Dyson Air Straight. You guys. This is pricey. It's about $500, but let me tell you, this is the best $500 I have ever spent. This not only dries your hair, but straightens it at the same time. I have really dry, frizzy hair, and look at how shiny my hair is. This thing is incredible. It prevents heat damage to your hair by using air to not only dry, but straighten. It cuts my styling time or hair washing time literally in half. I used to have to dry my hair, then go in with a flat iron. So I was basically applying heat twice. And with this, I do it all with one tool and no heat. Love, love, love. I cannot tell you how much I love this. This is 100% worth the money. If it is in your budget, 
highly, highly, highly recommend the new Air Straight. My necklace is also from Timu, as well as my earrings, of course. You guys know I love Timu jewelry. The last thing I wanna do before I walk out the door is put my perfume on, and I actually just got my dossier order. So I placed a dossier order, and it just arrived on my doorstep. Perfect timing, so I can put on a fragrance before we head out the door. I got this cute little coral box. Normally the boxes look like this, and this is dossier original. Okay, because this is the genderless collection. Okay, that, that makes sense. So what I ordered was one universal scent that could be for men or women. And I love that they did that, that they have some scents on their website that are genderless. What Dossier does is replicates high-end perfumes for a much more affordable price. I love perfume. I love fragrance. I wear perfume every single day. And I hate spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I discovered Dossier and they replicate the perfume and it's incredible. Like I always say, the lasting power isn't always the same as the high-end perfume, but you can certainly apply another layer for a much more affordable price than spending the hundreds of dollars on the luxury perfume. So their packaging I really like. It's very minimal, but I love that it has a magnetic lid. I actually keep Dossier in my purse because it doesn't spill because the lid magnets on. So I picked up one of the genderless collection and this is called Fiery Leather and Rhubarb. So I'm gonna read to you what it says here because it's a little bit different than the traditional Dossier perfumes, which I also picked up one of those. This is about the perfume. Fiery Leather and Rhubarb is an unconventional medley of raw materials, florals, V vegan black leather accord and rhubarb. The bold scent builds off each ingredient to deliver a balance of masculine leather and feminine florals with vegetal notes of rhubarb. So the top notes are rhubarb, nutmeg, and melon. The middle notes are geranium, rose, and saffron, and the base notes are vegan black leather and veveteer. So this one isn't necessarily modeled after a high-end perfume like the traditional dossier. This one definitely is. It's a replication, but let me smell this. I really wanted to try out some of the genderless fragrances. Ooh, that's different. I totally get the leather. Like right out of the gate, I get the leather. And then I get the softness of the floral and the fruitiness of the rhubarb. This actually smells really, really delicious. And it is 100% a fragrance that can be used on men or women. I feel like it would flatter either gender. I really like it. It's something very, very different to my perfume collection from Dossier. And then, like I said, I picked up one of the traditional fragrances for women, and this is Floral Lang Lang. So I wanted to get something kind of fresh and summery. And again, magnetic lid, which I very much appreciate. And this is a replication perfume of a high-end fragrance. This is a replication of Chanel's Gabrielle. Now, I have smelt that perfume and I love it, but I didn't want to spend the money on it. So I'm really excited that Dossier has their version. The top notes in this are lily, grapefruit, and blackberry. The middle notes are Lang Lang, tuberose, and jasmine, and the base notes are musk, orange blossom, and orris. So let's smell this one. I think this is the one I'm probably going to wear today. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. I really love that. I really love that. It is very, very fruity, very summer. It just Scream summer, screams going to the beach. It's really, really, really delicious. It smells just like the Chanel one. Wow, I'm impressed. So those are the two fragrances that I picked up for July. I typically buy one to two fragrances every month. I'm really excited about this genderless collection. If you like those more, per, those more fragrances that can be either men or women leaning and then floral lang lang, obsessed with it. Glad I didn't spend the money on the Chanel. So I will link Dossier down below for you with an extra 5% discount that you can piggyback with any other current offer on Dossier's website. I love that you can stack discounts, but I love Dossier. Definitely check them out if you're interested in a more affordable option for fragrance. Let me grab my water, my purse, my keys, and let's go shopping. So I brought my Stanley cup. This has my Motivate Recovery in it. I'm still working on that. I'm 
just about done. Our first stop is actually going to be Dutch Brothers, of course. I am going to get a coffee. I need coffee for shopping, right? Like it's a requirement. So we're gonna go get coffee. I do want to hit up Ross first, I think, because it's in the same parking lot as Dutch Brothers. And then I want to try TJ Maxx if I don't have as much success as I want to have at Ross at TJ Maxx. I want Walmart to be my last resort only because I can really go to Walmart anytime. I grocery shop there a lot, as you guys know. So I can check out candles and things really anytime there. I'm hoping to find some good deals at Ross and TJ Maxx. Also, of course, I'm on the hunt for dog treats because we are just about out and you can find some really good deals and even clean clearance dog treats at stores like Ross and TJ Maxx. And then I have another stop to make at the Dollar Tree because my boot camp instructor's birthday is coming up here in a couple of weeks and we're having a birthday party kind of girls night for her. Well, she is the queen of selfies. Like she's always got her face in pictures, taking selfies. We pick on her for it all the time. So we decided that we were all going to submit a selfie and I made a big blanket, like a 60 by 80 blanket with all our selfies all over it. And then at the bottom it says boot, boot camp babes because that's what we're called. So I made this big blanket for her for the, her birthday. And then everybody's pitching in to cover the cost of the blanket and then whatever money is left over I'm going to go get her a gift card to Lululemon because she loves Lululemon and she's been saying that she needs some new workout clothes so I want to stop off at the Dollar Tree to grab a gift bag some tissue paper a card kind of just peek around see what's at the Dollar Tree I do have a coaching call at noon so I need to make sure that I'm home by then and it's a little after 10 now and since I'm driving to Dutch Brothers I thought this was the perfect time to give you a couple of updates so really good news little miss Lola Clayton's last chemo is tomorrow I can't even believe it I mean I'm really relieved that it's over but then I feel like I'm gonna be a neurotic dog mom checking her lymph nodes like 10 times a day because she is in remission and has been in remission since week four but she won't be getting any chemo treatments any longer to kill cancer cells and I did share in the past that she's in remission yes but the likelihood I mean it's guaranteed pretty much that the lymphoma is gonna come back and it's just a matter of time hopefully it's years fingers crossed but every, it's different for every dog so the neurotic dog mom and me is about to come out after tomorrow but I'm really happy that it's her last session for her sake especially really mainly for her sake but it's going to save Troy and I about two thousand dollars a month it's around five hundred dollars a week for her chemo so that's gonna be nice to have that extra money as well as the extra time because it takes two to three hours to take her to chemo every week or every other week so that that's very exciting that her little last session is tomorrow. I am going to take some photos of her. It's going to be a big deal when she graduates from the chemo office. So I'll share that of course with you guys on Instagram and my Facebook group. So come join me there if you don't follow me in either of those places. Also, I posted a meetup here in Tucson. I know that there's a lot of you that live in this surrounding area, whether it be New Mexico, other parts of Arizona, California, and a lot of people have been asking me to do a meetup in Tucson, and I thought that it would be perfect to do in October since the weather here is fantastic. We, I have a lot of really fun things planned for the weekend, including breakfast at my house where you'll get to not only hang out with me, you'll also meet my husband, meet my dogs. I'm really excited about it. I will say that the original response wasn't as much as I was hoping that it would be. I mean, you guys have asked over and over and over again for meetups. And then whenever I plan one, I get crickets or I don't get much response. So we're going to see how it goes. Uh, this will dictate future meetups. If it's kind of a flop, then it's a lot of time for me to invest, especially if it's in a different state. So that meetups may come to a halt if this one isn't successful. But if you are in the surrounding area, not even in the surrounding area, we have airplanes. We have an airport in Tucson. You can certainly fly in for the meetup. We would love to have you. It's gonna be an epic, epic weekend. We are going to a cave tour. We're going to a gaslight theater, which is doing like a Harry Potter spoof. It's just gonna be a fantastic weekend. We're climbing to Mamak, which is the mountain that I climb all the time that you guys keep saying, oh, it's so beautiful there. I wanna do that. That's on our agenda. It's gonna be great. So I do have a community post here on YouTube talking about the meetup. And then it's also posted on my Instagram and in my Facebook group. So again, Again, we'd love to have you join us. One more kind of update, plastic surgery related, is I'm officially it be I'm officially able to wear a normal 
bra. I no longer have to wear a support garment. I will say that I have to wear some type of bra. It's very uncomfortable without a bra. I even wear a sports bra to bed. I have a looser fitting sports bra, but I actually can wear real bras now and don't have to wear a support garment. So that's really, really exciting. I'm getting more and more back to normal every day. It's still going to be several months before everything is back to normal. I'm two months post-op and it can take around six months. So, so far though, I'm feeling really good. I'm able to do most activities, still modifying a lot at boot camp. not able to do burpees, mountain climbers, bear crawls, push-ups. I tried doing push-ups, that's out. But I am modifying and still being able to get in my workouts, which is exciting. All right, I am just about to pull into Dutch Brothers. I'll show you guys my coffee, and then we're gonna hit up the Dollar Tree in Ross, and then we'll head on over across the street to TJ Maxx. We are also on a weather advisory for super strong winds today and potential dust storms on top of it being like 110. So let's head into Ross where there's air conditioning and shopping. This is the ugliest sweater I've ever seen. What the heck? $25. combination steam oven. It literally does everything. It allows you to air fry so you can enjoy healthy fried food using the air fry function with no oil or grease. There's two separate baking modes that make your meals crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. There's three levels of steam. This is really the coolest function on this oven is it allows you to steam anything for healthier eating. It has a self-clean function just like your regular oven at high temp it will clean the unit. It has 30 preset built-in recipes. So all you have to do is hit the little button and you'll have 30 recipes on hand. It is a countertop oven with a very spacious interior and a large 1.2 liter water reservoir. It has multiple steam modes. We're gonna go ahead and steam up some broccoli for today's lunch. The Robam Smart Countertop Oven makes it easy to eat healthy. With three separate steaming modes, you can retain all of the nutrients of your food without sacrificing the flavor. There's three different options for steaming. Low steam at 185 degrees, which is ideal for steaming vegetables or seafood. So this is the one we're gonna use for our broccoli. Regular steam mode at 210 degrees Fahrenheit, which is great for most dishes. And then there's a high steam mode at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect for stews and ribs. The water reservoir is going to allow the steam action of the oven. You can see that it gets nice and steamy inside and the broccoli comes out absolutely Perfect, and again, you can steam any food with the three steam functions. And then of course, I have to test out the air fryer mode because we air fry a lot in our house. And I love that this 
oven actually includes the air fry option. So this one's actually backed with Vortex like Cyclone technology. The R box functions like a professional level air fryer. It makes your food 45% crispier with circulating hot air at 2000 RPM. It delivers a combination of 2900 watt with the double ring element at the top and the dual speed motor fan in the back. You can actually air fry the temperature range of 90 degrees to 445 degrees. I just wanted to air fry these Amy Lou chicken burgers so I did them at 320 and it took about 20 minutes for them to air fry and become nice and crispy and cooked through. There are some great safety features with the R box as well. It is completely insulated and is safe to the touch even at 445 degrees and it's actually one of the few countertop size convection ovens made with three layers of glass and two double layers of e-glass. I also love that it's designed for us in mind. The LED display is tilted at 20 degrees so you never have to bend down to use it. You can actually choose from petal pink, cream white, mint green, garnet red, and sea salt blue to match your kitchen aesthetic. What's really great about this is it can be purchased directly off of Amazon or Robam's official website. I do have a fantastic discount for you. I will link it down below. Highly recommend my food came out perfect and it was so easy. I love that you can do air frying, baking, steaming, all in one unit. So here is my lunch straight out of this amazing kitchen appliance. I have my steamed broccoli with some salt and pepper, one of my chicken burger patties, and then I'm having half of a serving, uh, serving of these Cascio de Pepe pots just for something kind of crunchy on the side. I didn't have a bun so that I could have room for the little chips. I really wanted something kind of extra crunchy. I may put a little bit of no sugar added ketchup with my chicken burger. I wanna try it first since it has the cheese and the bacon. It may be a flavorful enough, but that is my lunch for today. So let's do the haul. So we're gonna start with Dollar Tree. I didn't get a whole lot there. I got a birthday card for Julia. I got a little pack of just blank note cards. I include these with my paid challenge on Facebook. If you win, I send you a goodie bag and I like to put a little personal card in there. I did get a happy birthday balloon and a happy birthday gift bag. I'm just gonna pop that in there for her, for her birthday. Now TJ Maxx had more candles than Ross, but Ross's prices are definitely better. But I did buy five candles at TJ Maxx. So first up, this one was $6. This is the Surf Lodge Ocean Breeze. It smells really good, definitely ocean beachy. And then this one's from the brand Sand and Fog, inspired by the California coast. This one was $7.99. Again, very beachy, but this one's a little bit more of a fruity smell. This one smells amazing. This is from DW Home and it's chocolate strawberry, also $7.99. It literally smells like chocolate covered strawberries. I know she's Christmas, but we like the smell of her. This is from Sensational and this is the Mary Mistletoe, also $7.99. Very pepperminty, piney. Fall scents are our favorite. Spicy fall, Christmassy pine scents are our favorite. And then this one's kind of cool. This is Dark Ode. It has a, a spider on top. I don't know what the notes are. This one was also $7.99. And it is kind of cinnamon spicy. Smells really, really good. A toy for the little dog. And then quite a few dog treats. They did end up having more than I originally thought. This brand, Boyce's Bakery, really good. Nice, clean ingredients. This is the bacon and blueberry recipe. These were $4.99. Oh, and the toy was $5.99. And then I got two bags of this one. This is from Honey I'm Home, Liver Recipe Mini Wafers, Naturally Honey Coated. So they're made out of buffalo liver, really clean ingredients as well, $3.99 per bag. And then this is one of my favorite dog treat brands. It's the Shameless Pets. These are like six or seven dollars a bag usually, and they were $3.99. So I picked up two of bananas for bacon. And that was everything from TJ Maxx. And then moving into Ross, candle wise, this one, $6.99. This is Coconut Berry Bliss. This smells so good. It's so coconutty, and then it has this kind of back note of berry. I really, really like this one. Love the packaging of this. This is so pretty, $7.99, and this is Desert Sunset. And again, it's kind of fruity, kind of spicy. 
I really, really like it. I just love the packaging. And then this one's super cute. It has like little margarita or martini glasses on it. And this is from La Can Chandel, California, all natural soy wax candle. This one was $8.99. And the smell of this one is fruity. Fruity with like a little bit of floral. It smells really good. Like I said, Ross is where I really hit the mother load for candles. I bought six, it looks like, from Ross. This is from that same brand, La Chandel, and this is in Rejuvenate. This one was $6.99, and this is very fruity. Very summer, kind of lemony, melony smell. Love the packaging of this one too. This is from that same brand, La Chandel, and this is Tropical Sunset. This one was $7.99. Tropical, fruity, papaya, pineapple. Definitely a summer scent. That's kind of what I was going for, was to round out summer with some new candles. Oh, I guess I got five candles from Ross. Yeah, five, because then I bought this little stand only because I have the Bath & Body Works candle holders, and these won't fit in there. So I thought that would be really pretty on my island where I typically burn the candles, and this was $3.99. And this one has lots of toys. So I got this little two-pack right here. This is so cute. It has a raccoon and like just these funny-looking woodland animals. This was $5.99 for two. Palmer does not get toys that have stuffing because he shreds them. So I try to find ones that don't have any stuffing or minimal stuffing. And then I found this one. This one actually has 12 squeakers. It's so soft, $4.99. And then this little two pack here of squeaky pads. This was only $4.99 as well. And again, two big squeakers and a squeaker in the head, no stuffing. I also got tissue paper at Ross because this was $2.99 and I thought this was really pretty with kind of the sparkly polka dots. I don't know if you can hear him, but he knows that there's goodies for him. Lots of treats at Ross. Ross is my favorite store for dog treats. This brand, Wellness Soft Bites, really clean dog treats. $4.99, this is chicken and lamb. And then from the brand Furry Republic, this was only $3.99, and this is chicken, apple, and peanut butter. Again, really clean ingredients. That's what I like about Ross, is you can find some really clean ingredient dog treats. I also, from that same brand, Furry Republic, for $3.99, got chicken. Hang on, buddy. More of the soft well bites. This one is chicken and venison. And then there's one more in here, which is beef and turkey. These Kong treats were on clearance, and this one was $2.99. And these are just the little crispy biscuits that go into the Kong. I grabbed those, and then I also picked up the Pokey Party, which are like salmon crunchy biscuits, also $2.99. And I spotted this, and I have never seen this before. It's actually for kids, technically. This is the Kodiak Cubs Oatmeal. It is 130 calories per packet, but it has eight grams of protein, and it's in birthday cake flavor. And they're regular full size packets. And I couldn't pass this up. It was really affordable. $2.99 for the box, which is cheaper than the grocery store. Eight grams of protein in oatmeal, yes please. And then last but not least, I love applets and cutlets. Comment down below if you know what applets and cutlets are. One of my favorite candies, brings me back to my childhood. And I saw that they had these from the brand Liberty Orchards. These are the Berry Delights Soft Fruit and Nut Candy Assortment for $2.99. They are basically applets and cutlets. They are individually wrapped. They are 100 calories for two, so 50 calories a piece. See all the apple and cutlet vibes. Mmm, so good. Love these so much. Palmer, would you like a fresh baby from your from what mommy got? <laughs> yeah. Get him, Lola. Go get Palmer. Go get the baby. I'm going to make a protein shake for an afternoon snack. This will be my second protein supplement. Speaking of protein supplements, I did a supplement video where I talked about the supplements I take daily for weight loss. I'll link it if you missed it. There was a renowning response that you guys want a protein supplement video. What do I use? How often do I use them? How do I strategically place them in my day for weight loss? So that is coming by the end of July. So today's protein shake is going to be pretty simple. I make it easy on myself, to be honest. I'm going to use the chocolate fair life milk. I'm obsessed with this. It's so good. It literally tastes like legit chocolate milk. And you already know my favorite protein powders, Clean Simple Eats. And so today we're gonna do chocolate brownie batter, which is basically like a really rich, decadent chocolate. And then for fun, I'm going to add a little bit of peppermint extract to make a mint chocolate vibe. And then I'll top it with some whipped cream. Five. 
in doing lifts, I guess. So he sort of I. What's the name of this place? Lifted trucks. <laughs> oh, here. Did you tell him that we're looking to do like a straight across? So here is the protein shake. It is so good, I tasted it. The perfect amount of mint, and then I topped it with the birthday cake whipped cream from Members Mark. Get him, get Palmer! Yay, good girl, Lola! Get him! Lola, get Palmer! Yes, I do to get him! Get him, Lola! For dinner tonight, I am making chicken tinga tacos. This is supposed to be one of the best recipes for these tacos, so let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need cumin and oregano, avocados, salt and pepper, a fresh lime, diced up red onion, chicken broth, minced garlic, fire roasted diced tomatoes, cojita cheese, a sweet onion, shredded chicken. You can, of course, cook your own chicken breast and shred that up. You can also use rotisserie chicken. I'm using these zero carb little mini tortillas. These are the perfect size for t chicken tinga tacos. And then you're going to need some fresh cilantro. My skillet sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add in about half of a cup of diced up red onion. And we're going to let that saute down until softened. Then we're adding in a big scoop of minced garlic and allow it to become fragrant. We're adding in cumin, oregano, salt and pepper. Give that a quick stir. You're kind of cooking, in a sense, the spices. I'm going to add my can of fire roasted diced tomatoes and a quarter cup of chicken stock and allow that to cook down for about five minutes. We're going to add our cooked mixture to a blender or in my case, my Ninja Bullet and we're going to puree this down on high in our blender. Then we're going to go ahead and add in our shredded chicken and we're going to allow it to cook until the chicken is warmed through. So our chicken tinga mixture looks amazing, smells amazing. So we're ready to put together our tacos. So each serving is two of the zero carb tortillas. We're going to add the chicken tinga mixture. It makes five servings total, so one fifth of the chicken. I did wanna point out that I did not add the adobo peppers, which the original recipe calls for. The original recipe will be on my website. We do not do spicy, so I omitted those. You can certainly, certainly add them. I have all my toppings ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and add a lime slice, some chopped up red onion, some fresh cilantro, some of the cheese, and of course, avocado. And here is dinner. This looks so good. I cannot wait to dig in. Again, the whole recipe makes only five servings, so it's two tacos per serving. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. It's the end of the night. I'm gonna go wash my face, get my pajamas on. Lola and I have a 90 day fiance to catch up on and I'm gonna have dessert. So I'm gonna do my True Fru dark chocolate strawberries. I love these, I bought these at Sam's Club. Spoiler alert, there's a Sam's Club haul coming on Saturday's video, in Saturday's grocery haul. So I'm going to have a serving of these, which is a quarter cup or 20 or 30 grams. It's 150 calories. These are amazing. Actually, let me show you what these look like. You can usually have two or three for the serving. They're huge, and they have a freeze-dried strawberry in the middle, and they're coated in dark chocolate. They're so, so, so good. So I'm gonna weigh out a serving, and that is dessert. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate, of course, tonight's dinner recipe. And don't forget, I will link dossier as well as the Art Box Kitchen Appliance. Highly, highly recommend. It is fantastic, literally an all-in-one, down in the description box for you, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, we'd love to have you come on over, join our Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.